Recording in progress. Okay. So some of you guys were telling me you had a little bit of issue here. So let's fix that real quick. Um, which one did you say? Let me look at 39. So what do the two acute angles always add up to? 90. 90. Now, why do they add up to 90? Because it's a right triangle. Agreed? Right, and if you're not sure about that, draw a right triangle. If this is 90 degrees, they add up to 180. So that means these two angles have to add up to 90. Do you agree with that? So now, just like the good old days, angle one and angle two. All right, the larger angle is two degrees less than three times the smaller. So the smaller is what? X. And the larger would be? 3X minus two. Yeah, three X minus two. Right, easy. 4x minus 2 equals 90. 4x equals 92. X is equal. Thank you very much. That is correct. So obviously, if one is 23, the other one is 67. What? All right, does anybody else have any question with 39? All right. So what's wrong with 37? I don't know how to find like three, three, four, six, eight. Do you see that one and eight are equal? Yeah. All right. So right off the bat, what are angles one and eight? I'm not sure. How much? No. What are you guys talking about? Stop. One and eight have to be what? Have to be equal. What's the exterior angle? What did you guys say they were? I said one was 67. Yes, that's correct. Who said that? Chloe. Chloe. Oh, I'm sorry, Chloe. All right. I didn't hear Chloe. Her. her. All right, there we go. That is correct. Come on, what did we learn yesterday? The exterior angle is equal to the remote interior. All right? So one plus eight has to equal 130. One plus eight has to equal 130. Everybody agree? How do you know it's not like one and three? I don't know what you mean. How do you know it's not one and three? What? You should be able to tell if you know this right here. How much is this angle right here? One sixty. So now you can figure out what angle three is. How much is that? Twenty. Well, angle two is definitely twenty, but I didn't say two. That's definitely twenty. How did you get 95? Right. That is correct. 95. How much is this angle right here from here to here? So that means these two angles have to add up to 160. Or if you don't like that, the angles of a triangle add up to 180. You can do 20 plus 65 minus 180. What's five? What's seven? 70. So 110 is an exterior angle. Six and eight add up to 110. Or you can just do 70 plus 65, subtract from 180. What is that? Angle six, someone. How much? 45. Beautiful. And now we know angle four has to be what? 40. 
Beautiful. Nothing to it. What? You said that angle one and angle eight have to be the same because they're like alternate. No, I didn't say that. They're given they're equal. But then you said that they have to add up 10 30. Yes. But then you said that 110 or 8 and 6 have to add up to 110. Exactly. So then why can't 3 and 1 add up to 130? Because 130 is not the exterior angle. This is, I, that's what I'm showing you. This from here to here would be the exterior angle, not from here to here. Do, you, do I need to draw it again? Or are you saying, okay, just for me to go on to the next person? Or if you draw this triangle out, like this, what is the exterior angle of that triangle? 160. Anybody else? Yes. That still doesn't make sense why 130 applies to one and eight because it doesn't make sense. Okay. All right. I, I, I understand, right? She said she gets it though. You're having trouble seeing it, right? Yeah. Okay, so look. This angle, I'm going to make it bigger. This angle right here is the exterior angle of the highlighted blue triangle. That angle is not 130. It is what? Elise, what is it? Okay, so look, here's your problem. I'm going to draw this real quick one more time. This. And now watch, this right here is 30 degrees. This is 130 degrees. Is 130 the exterior angle of that triangle? You see what I'm saying now? You sure? Yeah. Right, so up here, if I put it back, now you understand what an exterior angle is, right? They confuse you because they drew what? Extra lines in there to mess you up. Just like up here, 110. All right, let's draw this guy. Here, here, and here. What is the exterior angle, Elise? For the pink triangle. Yeah. And so what does 110 equal? What two angles? Okay, so look right here. Here's how you figure that out. So you take 110 and you find its supplement. Which one is supplement to 110? What angle? Seven. Seven. You with me? Yeah. So now that you know seven is related to 110, the other two angles are equal to 110. So what are the other two angles? Yeah, no, no, but what two angles equal 110 degrees? Okay, so look at the pink triangle. Look at the pink triangle. Which ones? Is what? Which one is supplementary to one ten? Seven. Seven. So if you ever are not sure, you take the one that's adjacent or supplementary to one ten and cross that one out. So I'm crossing this one out. The other two are what they equal. So one ten equals what? What two angles? That's how easy. That's all it is. You with me now? Yeah. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna ask you again, what? Then, okay, so if 110 equals six and eight, then why doesn't 160 equal one and three? I know that- It does. 160 equals one and three. Exactly right. Okay. And what does 130 equal? I 
I, I, I just don't, you, you, you. Here is the exterior angle. So what triangle is that representing? What is that the, on, what triangle is that on the exterior of? Um, it's one side. Yeah, I, I just don't understand it. I really don't. This here is 130 degrees. How is this part of that triangle? How does that part of that angle? I don't know. I'm sorry. It's not. Yeah. Draw this triangle. Right? Yeah. So what are the two ex the remote interior angles? Mm -hmm. One and eight. That's it. Mm -hmm. Elise, you with me on that? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. The exterior angle, if you want it like this, is another part of an exterior angle. Okay, so let's get wild and crazy. This over here, that exterior angle. What are the remote interior angles for that, guys? Go ahead. I don't care. Seven and eight. Seven and eight. Is everybody okay with that? All right, now let's get a little crazy. Come on, come on, come on. This angle right here. What is that angle going to be? What? Come on, I think it's I think it's obvious. Obviously, it's not. So that if you don't participate and tell me, one and two. Yes, I like one and two. That's the no, not one and two. Sorry. What is it, James? Two and thirty degrees. No, definitely not. Tell him. Eight and thirty. Yes, thank you. Eight and thirty. Right. Six and four. Come on, guys, play the game with me. Six and four is the exterior. So what would be the remote interior for that six and four? Come on, someone be brave. Everyone else has been wrong. Come on, Ben, what is it? That's the exterior angle. What are the remote interior angles for six and four? But are Tell him, Nate. Um, oh. No. Man, I'm so sorry, guys. Tell him. Three and two. No. Michaela. One and two. Yes, one and two. Now, since obviously I didn't do a good job, I will continue. All right, so here we go. So here is six and four. Here's the angle that I was talking about, right? When I was referring to six and four, some of you may not even understood what I was saying. This is the exterior angle. I told you this angle is knocked out because that's its supplement. So what are the other two angles? I'm not under, I just, I'm, I'm trying all right, and I know I don't understand when people don't understand. I know that's my problem, right? But I'm, I'm trying to see if you knock angle three out, the triangle I thought would be obvious to be is one and two. All right, so let's try it again. All right, come on, let's play the game. And again, if you don't know, you might as well speak up and see if you're finally getting it because there's lots of exterior angles here. So come on, I'm gonna ask another one. Here we go. Angle five. What are the remote interior angles for that? Anybody agree with six and eight? Elise, how am I doing? 
I'm not going to ask Marin because she's going to say bad. So, Ben, you understand that? All right. So I'm going to say seven. Four and 30. Seven is equal to angle four plus 30. Everybody agree with that? All right, now let me try to confuse you. Six. I'm confusing you, that's good. There is no remote interior angles. There isn't. Does everybody see that? Right. Yeah, thank you. Right? Six. So this would have to be the what? That would have to be the interior angle. That doesn't make a triangle. There's no triangle for the other two angles. All right, let me see if I can do this. All right, here we go. What about angle eight? No. Right? There aren't any. All right, let me see if I can help you. What is 110 degrees, this angle? What are the remote interior angles? All right, let's do wild and crazy. This angle right here, what is that? Four and 30. Six and eight, come on, Harrison. Seven is equal to those. Do you see what I'm saying? All right, let's do, for example, 130 degrees. One and eight. This is where we started at the beginning of class. What's 160? What's remote with this one? James? One and three. One and three now, right? You see what I'm saying? All right, let's look at... this angle right here. It has nothing to do with the six, right? So again, I'm, I, I don't know how much more I can do for you. This is one of the interior angles of the triangle. So the other two would have to be eight and 30. Harrison, if I said this, from here to here, what are the remote interior for that angle? What is connected to that? What angle, Harrison? What is the supplement to that red angle? I don't know why you're saying four and three. What is the supplement to that, please? Tell me again. Four. So that is the supplement. So I'm knocking that out. Five and 30. I, I'm just, I'm just not sure why some of you aren't just doing that. You with me? All right. Now, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was easy, but I'm, I was obviously wrong. All right. Hopefully you got that now. Does the, let me say this again, though. Does it really matter if you don't understand that? No, it doesn't. All right, the reason why it doesn't is because you know that the angles always of a triangle always add up to what? 180. All right, now there are a few cases where you would have to know that. So for example, here's the case that's on the test because kids would not uh, do it properly, right? If this, is, uh, if this is the triangle, I'm gonna put on the test like X plus five and then I'll put three X minus four 
and 2x minus 3. So what is that, Harrison? X plus 5 equals 5x minus 7. Yes, that is correct. Now, believe it or not, do I still need to do that? No, because I can write over here, this is just 180 minus x plus 5. You can always solve it without the alternate exterior angle theorem. These three angles now have to add up to what? 180. All right, so I made, I, I, that's for some of you guys who are like, man, that guy's crazy and he's grumpy, all right? So I didn't want to talk to him. So that's the way you solve it if you don't know the exterior angles, some of the remote interior angles. It's just much easier if you know that. On the SATs, they ask that all the time. All right, ACT, that's a common question. All right, because they know kids forget that relationship. All right, so because that was so easy. Does anybody else have a quick question? Because we're, we're a little behind now. What? 36. So what are you having trouble with? Um, like angle two and one. This is 35. So what else do we know? No, Marin's gonna answer. Um, like angle 70, 70. Okay, what? Okay, so now how do I figure out angle one? Okay, now how do I figure out what angle four is? How do I know that? All right, let me have your homework. All right, give me something else to do today. And now while I'm collecting your homework real quick, here's what I want you to do is um, and see. All right, so here we go. Now, um, so let's just blow up over here for a quick second. And again, I think listening is good, all right? Not writing is sometimes better because it's logical. Although I thought something was logical yesterday, it didn't turn out to be so logical. So forgive me. Now, these triangles are congruent. How do I know they are congruent? Because? The sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. Now, there's this term in geometry called corresponding parts. And I never understood why people had trouble with this. So I'm going to really make sure I'm clear today. What corresponds, everybody look at the picture. What corresponds to angle R? Yeah, I, I, and you know, I, we're going to walk out of here today and everybody's going to say, that's so simple. I don't know what the guy was ranting about. And every time we take a test and people miss it. All right, so this is what I'm saying. I, you don't have to write this down. To me, it's just logical. So I'm going to ask you something else. What corresponds to angle B? Everybody should respond, angle S. And of course, angle C would correspond to T, that is correct. Now, here's where you gotta be a little bit more careful. If I said side BC, side BC corresponds to what? Can I say TS? No, no, you cannot. Does BC equal TS? Yes, it does. That's what congruent means. If something is congruent, then the sides are what? Equal, equal in length, right? So BC 
Does BC correspond to TS? No, it does not. It's equal to, but it doesn't correspond to. Is everybody with me? You have to match angle to angle in order for that to be true. So if I said, is, does BC correspond to ST? That's a correspondence, all right? Equal, it doesn't matter. Equal, you can mix the letters up. Correspondence, you are not allowed to mix the letters up, all right? Even though really, do I care? No, because it's a technicality, all right? It's a technicality, all right? So if I said CA, everyone would say that corresponds to TRRT. Which one? CA corresponds to TR. Exactly. All right. Now, again, I just feel like that makes perfectly good sense. All right. And, and again, um, the direction that you're going matters for correspondence. Equal doesn't matter. All right. So with that being said, I also try to teach kids, you can be deceived looking at the picture. You can be deceived looking at the picture. You cannot be deceived if you're looking at the corresponding statement. All right, so what does that mean? Right here. This triangle right here. Let me highlight this. This is the congruent statement. So now everybody look at that. The highlighted. What corresponds to angle X? Yes. What corresponds to angle Y? What corresponds to Z? There you have it. It's really, I mean, it's so simple. I, honestly, we did it in sixth grade. All right. We had a lesson on similar and congruent. All right, so if I said X, Y, what does that correspond to? R, S. Y, Z corresponds to? And X, Z corresponds to? Yes. Now, hopefully you understand what I'm saying about the correspondence, right? Because a lot of times what they can do is when you copy something, I just want to try to make this clear, paste the image. I can take this image and rotate it around so it looks different. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? So that's why I don't like to look at the picture because the picture can be confusing. And trust me, you will see that in a little while. All right. You have to get the correspondence correct. All right. So you can shift this around to hide it. All right. And you can also... This is actually a reflection. Does everybody agree with that? Because there's no way I can put that on top of this, right? To make it equal. All right. Hopefully you understand what I just said, because that was from our last unit. All right. That you did on IXL. All right. But again, that's all they're talking about. All right. So again, listen, guys. All right. Just you don't have to write anything down. Right. It's annoying to have to write all this out. Does everybody agree with me? I don't want you to have to write down six angles and six sides for every single one of these. That's what you have to do. Right. Is that necessary? It's not necessary if you look at it going, this is super easy. If you're looking at confused, then go home tonight and write them all out so you're not confused. All right. Now, number one, is that one super easy? It's super easy. Number two, now you understand what I'm saying, correct? It's kind of a little out of order. Now, I always look at the angles. All right, I always look at the angles. So we're going to write the congruent statement. All right, and once we write the congruent statement, then is it easy to name the corresponding parts? The answer would be yes. All right, so here we go. So for number two. All right, I'm just going to write something. If you want to write it down, I know you all are great students. You do what you need to do to make sure you're understanding me. But I really feel like it's better if you just watch. So I'm going to write for number two. Triangle A, B, C is congruent to what triangle? Somebody started with a D because angle one and angle one. 
B has how many tick marks? So then we'd have to put what down? And then what? How about that? Is that easy? So now, is everybody agreeing? Angle A is congruent to what? Angle B is congruent to, and angle C is congruent to. Now, is that awkward? That sounds awkward, doesn't it? Because it doesn't say angle B is congruent to angle B. That's why some kids get confused. Does everybody, anybody have any questions with why angle B doesn't equal angle B? You with me? Very good question, because angle B is this angle. But if you're looking at the individual triangles now, this is angle B on one of the triangles, and this is angle B on the other triangle. You see what I'm saying, right? So that's why when we say angle B, you can't say angle B, because there's actually how many different angles there? Three. Very good. There are three different angles, right? <clears throat> the big one and the one that's cut into two different parts. Is that better now? Yeah. Makes sense. All right. So is everybody happy with that? Now you would use this congruent statement after you do the angles to mention the what? Sides, right? So you would say AB is congruent to what? BC B is congruent to, and AC is congruent to, and notice I never looked at my figure. I don't like looking at the figure because I can be deceived. Is everybody okay with that? It's much better to write the congruent statement first and then write out what's congruent. All right. But I am assuming, and some of you will be happy to correct me because you like that. If you can write this, you should be able to tell me the corresponding parts. Do they agree? All right. So now why is this one a little bit harder? because we don't have the sides marked. What side is missing? The one in the middle, which we'll call, instead of calling it the one in the middle, we'll call it KM. How many tick marks am I gonna put on it? Three, three. three, beautiful. None of the angles are marked congruent. So are they necessarily congruent? Not unless we can show that the angles are congruent. So this angle right here is congruent to what angle? Don't say M. Yes, so what is it? You use angles with letters. What is angle JKM congruent to? K what? Yes, KML, speak up, Lexi. That's true, that's congruent. What else is congruent? Thank you, madam. Man, I finally get some life out of you. Yay. That's perfect. So now what? Is L congruent to J? Why is that? They have the little marks. I don't see any little marks for the very good. She just summarized the third angle theorem. All right. What is the third angle theorem? If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the what? The third angle must be congruent. All right. Why is that? All right. Because the angles add up to what? 180 degrees. And so if two angles are equal, then the third angle must be congruent. I think we're going to prove that but that's what it's called, all right? So immediately if two angles of a triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the third angle is definitely congruent. So now everybody can write one, two, three, one, two, three, all right? Now we're gonna write the congruent statement, James, go. So triangle what? Triangle KJM. KJM is congruent to triangle. KL. Oh, hold on. Thank you, Elise. K, J, M. You go by numbers marked. M, L, K. M, Elise, is he correct this time? He said what? M, L, K. 
Wow, MLK. Look at that. Thank you, Elise, for correcting today. Feels good, doesn't it? It does kind of feel good. All right. So here we go. Um, I don't care about four. Uh, let's look at six real quick. What's true about us? Ha ha ha! A little math joke for everybody. <laughs> I know I am. I like. I know you are inside. I know. I know. So what's true about us? It's splitting them. What are you talking about? It's splitting. What is U.S.? I'm missing a side. U.S. is shared with both triangles. Do you agree? So us is congruent to us. Yes. There you have it. You're welcome. Because I'm hilarious. That's why. All right. Now, is there any way for us to show that? Is there any way for us to show? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. Thank you, Elise. You get extra credit today. Is there any way for that? Is there any way to show that those are equal? Yeah. Maybe. Yes. How do we know? Because R and T, and uh, which means a third. And you and you. And the the little. So so I'm missing. But no no but I'm still missing this right here. Those two angles have to be equal. How do I know though? Because the R and T are U U T or U T and U S is equal. They're both right. It has to be equal. Well, eventually, listen, eventually, I'm going to summarize for you. Eventually, that is true, but we don't know that yet. All right. So right now, based off this drawing, there is no way for me to know. For example, I want to show you something. If I were to draw S this way, are the angles congruent now? No. So everybody see what I'm saying? So there's no way for me to say that that is necessarily true. All right, does everybody agree with that? So can you say this triangle, they're congruent? The triangles are congruent? No, not possible. It is not possible. Then how did you know the number three? Because I showed you all of the angles were congruent. All right, over here I'm saying, are the two blue angles congruent and are the two green angles congruent? There's no way for us to tell. And I just tried to show you by drawing S U in a different way. Yes, ma'am. So if you do S U that way, then the two sides wouldn't be congruent. Well, I can mark them congruent. True. I want to show you that, Chloe. That's a very good point. So what I want to do is I want to show you something like this. Uh oh. So I'm going to show you this. All right, I appreciate what you just said. You see what I'm saying? Those are congruent. You with me? Right. There's just no way for us to tell. Right. There's just no way for us to tell. Now you're supposed to say, Chloe, well, then that means that these two aren't equal. And you would be what? You'd be correct. You'd be absolutely correct. So I've distorted the figure to make what I want to say true. And I'm telling you in a couple days, we'll be able to look back at this and say, obviously, those are congruent triangles. But we don't know how to do it yet. That's coming up tomorrow and the next day. All right, so Elise, tell me. What do you, no, no. So right with what we understand right now, we cannot say that those triangles are congruent. After tomorrow and the next day, we can look back and say, yes, we know those triangles are congruent. Because there's no way to prove that the blue angles are congruent and the green angles are congruent. You can't prove that's true with the knowledge that you have right now. Soon you will be able to.
but not right now. All right. So now I don't care about that. Okay. So now just real quick, I know we have a couple minutes, just listen, just humor me until the bell rings. All right. So in order to prove the triangles are congruent, what do you have to say about all the angles and all the sides? They're congruent. So again, um, I, 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 I don't think it's necessary for you to do any more work. All right. No homework for tonight. All right. I would be, it would be better if you would have said you're the funniest teacher. You are the funniest teacher.